Hey everyone out there, welcome back to another episode of Uncensored Solar TV brought to you by my amazing team here at Solar Wolf Energy. And I wanna to talk today about Tesla and Generac. These two companies, whether you know this or not, if you're in the industry, gonna go head to head. I think Tesla has a very real, large, and increasingly looming problem here with Generac. When you look at the balance sheet and the financials of both companies, Generac is superior in almost every way. Um, those who are concerned about the, the longevity of a company, the survivability. Tesla obviously has still a lot of growing pains to, to overcome, which can take out the biggest of companies, even at the knees. Generac's pretty much done this. Um, they're at a point where they're more of an older, disciplined, distinguished company. They also have an enormous household brand name. So much so that on the residential generator backup side of the market share that exists for that industry, they own three quarters of an entire market share. I can't think of a company that owns three quarters of a market share of almost anything except for maybe like YKK and zippers and maybe Bic pens or lighters or something. Like there's very few. And with that said, we've always noticed that companies that own a humongous market share of almost any industry that they're in, regardless of the size of the industry, they almost always run forever. So Generac, as we all know, has reached into the solar space. They, they acquired Pika Energy, which uh, they were a, a company, a startup company bought up in Maine, and they had a little bit different take on the whole optimization or inversion of solar from DC to AC. So Generac basically bought them and their licensing agreement that Pika had exclusivity with Panasonic Battery. So now when you acquire a Generac system, you're able to get the Generac solar PV array systems as well as the backup storage. And theirs, because it's Generac, once they acquired all this, they opened up the checkbook and they went to work on the R&D, their execution, and turned it around rapidly. What I'd like to say is this. It is my professional opinion of being in, in the solar industry and a leader in solar that I do believe Generac is going to overtake the solar space. I believe it's going to be bigger than Enphase. I believe it's bigger, going to be bigger than Solar Edge on the residential side. The, the, the outlook here and what I'm speaking to is the amount of batteries people are buying. It's getting to be far more common now when people go with a PV array for their home, they're also adding storage. The Generac system at scale makes far more sense. The, the Solar Edge system at present combined with LG Chem with some other issues as far as warranty and cost, it, it doesn't play as well and it's not as fluid. The Enphase system, I haven't messed with it enough to really get into it too much. It looks clean and sleek, but I still have some concerns at Enphase Financials as the company just went almost over the brink twice. Uh, with, uh, last year aside, before that, Enphase was obviously not doing well and in an emergency borrowing money for payroll positions, uh, situations. Uh, like I said, removing the last year, obviously that's not the case. They've, 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 they've brought some money back into the company, but it goes to show you that how a company like Enphase, who's been in solar for a very long time, is still trying to work their way through and figure things out. It's why I believe and I think Generac is going to be a dominant force in solar. And it's also why I think the Powerwall is going to lose its uh, top position in the United States for, for on-demand battery backup power. I think Generac is going to capture that and take it from Tesla. Now Tesla with the solar shingles, the solar roofing and everything else, the solar roof that Tesla has does look incredible. I don't think anyone can deny that. Their process, their customer service is absolutely dog shit in every way. And there is not one person, including those at Tesla, that can't deny it. Their customer service is nightmarish. It's legendary how bad it is. 
go on any Tesla uh, Facebook group and it's about 90% of the conversation is if you have something wrong with your, your power wall, your tiled roof or your panels in your roof, good luck. Like that's not the way, right? So I didn't rack me the hand. Great customer service, great warranty issues uh, for those of us in the install side of things. Generac by far, so so far, has the best uh, plans and incentives and financial. They take care of us here on the install side. LG Chem, terrible. Absolutely terrible. And they need to get it together. Um, just for those of you who don't know, LG Chem, their battery, every time an installer has to come back out and service the battery, they lose money. So you can, you can imagine nobody's going to be excited or to try to run right out and fix your battery when there's a problem. So with that said, when we look at the two, I guess, uh, gorillas in, 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 in this industry, which are Generac now and Tesla, Tesla has a very real problem in being challenged as the number one guy in the room. And I believe... If Tesla doesn't do something soon about Generac, either acquire them, invest in them of some sort, there's going to be much bigger problems down the line for them. And who knows where that leads, but it's gonna be something we should all keep an eye on. Let me know your thoughts on Generac versus Tesla, and let's see where this goes. I'd love to hear some feedback from the industry and just from you know Tesla fanboys alike. Just throw, throw it at us and let's see what uh, what we can do for dialogue here. And with that, I'd like to say thank you for watching the episode of Uncensored Solar TV, brought to you by my amazing team here at Solar Wolf Energy. Thanks.